CompTIA Security Plus SY0-701 Practice Exam Questions 11 through 15 This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 11. Several employees receive fraudulent text messages from someone posing as the chief financial officer requesting urgent updates to the company's payroll system. The message states, I'm in a meeting and need to update direct deposit details for some employees. Please process the changes immediately and confirm once done. Which of the following are the best responses to this situation? The answer is B. Train employees on common smishing attacks. Smishing is a social engineering attack where attackers use text messages as an attack medium. These messages often create urgency to trick recipients into revealing sensitive information or taking unauthorized actions. Effective prevention methods include warning employees about potential scams, requiring verbal confirmation for sensitive requests, and providing training to recognize and report smishing attempts. Question 12. A company is concerned about the risk of counterfeit network hardware entering its infrastructure. To ensure the authenticity of equipment and prevent vulnerabilities, which of the following would be the best approach? The answer is A. Conduct a thorough analysis of the supply chain. A supply chain analysis is a proactive measure that helps identify vulnerabilities in the procurement process before counterfeit hardware can enter the network. By evaluating supplier reliability, tracking sourcing methods, and verifying distribution channels, organizations ensure that only authentic, certified hardware is acquired. This approach minimizes the risk of fraudulent equipment, enhances compliance with security policies, and strengthens overall hardware integrity. Question 13. A company is hiring a third-party penetration tester to evaluate its security defenses. Before the test begins, both parties must agree on the scope, limitations, and conditions of the test. Which of the following defines these terms? The answer is D. Rules of engagement. Rules of engagement outline the terms, scope, and conditions for a penetration test ensuring both the organization and the tester understand what is allowed and expected. This includes details such as testing boundaries, timeframes, permitted attack methods, and legal considerations. Clearly defining the rules of engagement helps prevent disruptions, ensures ethical testing, and protects both parties from unintended consequences. Question 14. A penetration tester starts an engagement by scanning the client's network for open ports and running services, as permitted by the rules of engagement. Which type of reconnaissance is the tester performing? The answer is C. Active. Active reconnaissance involves directly interacting with a target system to gather information, such as scanning for open ports and services. This method generates network traffic and may be detected by security monitoring tools. Unlike passive reconnaissance, which relies on publicly available data without directly probing the target, active reconnaissance provides real-time insights into an organization's security posture. Question 15. An organization wants to ensure it can efficiently recover systems after a failure. To properly manage the restore process, which of the following should be in place? The answer is B, DRP. A Disaster Recovery Plan, or DRP, is a documented strategy that defines the steps and resources needed to restore systems after a failure. It includes backup procedures, system recovery methods, and assigned roles to ensure operations can resume quickly and efficiently. By having a DRP in place, an organization minimizes downtime and data loss, improving overall resilience in the event of a system failure. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. Luckily, 
Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you are always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.